Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a few days uh, since I've made a video, so I'm happy to be here. I don't really have much to talk about uh, because I'm not really prepared to make a video, but I figure I could give an update on my two miners. Why not? And uh, what's really cool about this is that one of my miners, my main miner here at my house, is actually connected to an ADBI antenna, which is about 18 feet, 19 feet maybe up in the air, through a four LMR 400 cable. And uh, the other miner is literally just plugged in. It's inside the house, about three feet from a window, three feet from the floor. It's not in the best location at all. So we have two very, very different scenarios. And uh, I wanted to make this video and compare them both and see whether an outdoor setup is worth it versus just putting the miner anywhere in your house and just let it be. So cheers, you guys, to my non-alcoholic seltzer water and meal. I'm not as cool as the nerdy guy, but uh, this is still pretty yummy. So... Um, Cheers to you guys, and thank you for watching this video, and thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel, Chupacabra Tech, you guys. Up to 175 subscribers, just about. I was at 100 just a week ago, so you guys are awesome. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. Let's get right into it, guys. I want to make this short. First things first. If I can get uh, this to work... There it is. There it is. First things first. Yeehaw. Awesome. 2472. About 16% up today, you guys. We want to see that. We love that. That's a big, big check, 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 check. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right. That being said, let's get moving over here. This is my miner down in Palm Bay. The one that is sitting inside the house. No outdoor antenna, just the factory 2.3 DBI antenna that comes with that particular miner. And uh, that's that's about it. Let's click on it. And as you can see, not much going on. Now, I'm going to be honest. I, over the last, uh, since I connected it, it this, this thing has been mining for about five days. Okay. Uh, it's at three weeks in the main screen here. But that's when I received it and I connected it and synced it. That is not when, uh, that's not when it started mining. It started mining about five days ago. So almost $6, about a dollar or so per day. That's, I'm quite impressed. I didn't think it was going to make that much money, but uh, that just, you know, that just shows you that this rack wireless gold spot, minted gold spot uh, miner, it's working very, very nice. So I'm happy to see that. See, three feet from the ground, 2.3 factory antenna, nothing special. If you look at where this miner's sitting, you'll be surprised, just as I am, that it's actually witnessing anything and earning. Nothing special to it. I wanted to show you something here because this is very important when it comes to the comparison of the two miners here today. Beacon, two hours ago, zero. Sent beacon, hey, there was two. Sent beacon, hey, there was one. Let's keep going. Whoops, let me d delete those, there we go. Let's keep going, look at that, beacon, zero, beacon, zero, beacon, two. Beacon, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. So you can see, these zeros are not good. That's not good. That's not the number. That's not what you want to see there. You, you want to see something. I don't care if it's one or two. You just want to see something there. Um, every time your miner sends out a beacon, you want to see something there. You don't want to see zero. And uh, that is the biggest difference between the miner that's inside of this, you know, this property that is, you know, not really in the best location at all. It's not, it's just not, it's not. Again, like I said, I'm pretty surprised that I've earned 
six bucks over the last five days and witnessing two miners right here from this location here. So that's pretty impressive, to be honest with you. I got to give it to Rack Wireless and their gold spot uh, miner. It's it, it, it works. OK, it works. If you're wondering whether it's a good miner or not, it's, it's a good miner. It works. The signals getting out there is being witnessed how I have no idea, but it is. So it's a good miner. OK, let's compare that to my main miner up here in Mare Island. OK, let me zoom in a little more. And let's click on it. Let's see here. Dancing banana baboon. That's mine. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see here what this one has done. For 30 days, 3.35, almost $83 mined. Now, this is about 18 days of mining. Okay. Uh, not the full three, three weeks because the first two days are uh, sinking and it takes about 48 hours. So this, this has not been earning for the full 21 days. This has been earning for about 18 days and we can probably just count them here, you know, nine, that's one because it finished on the eight late. It started mining on the nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and today, right? Yep. So 18 days. Uh, you can call it 19 days if you want. 18, 19 days. Okay. But the main difference is this. This outdoor setup is already witnessing miners all over the place. Okay. As far as Probably about 10 kilometers, I think it is. Let's see here. Yep, 10 kilometers. I knew that because my friend, uh, my friend owns, I think about five of these. These one here, this one, this one, this one. And I think there's this one here. Not so sure if there's one more, but I know for a fact Five of these are his. So, and they're all good. They're all operational. It's only a matter of time before my miner communicates with all of these, which uh, I can't wait. But let's go to the activity here. And let's see the difference here. Sent beacon one, beacon two, beacon two, beacon two, beacon three, two, two, three, four. Let's see. Two. Uh, no, this is a witness. Let's see here. Sent. Look at that. A zero. I got a zero. And this is with a decent setup, you guys. So again, imagine. Just just imagine when when you don't have a decent setup. It's just, in my opinion, it's horrible. I mean, I'm just I'm using the data that's being provided by the by the little uh, you know application here. How accurate this is. Who knows? We all know how wonderful the Helium Explorer is, but assuming that it is pretty accurate, you know, uh, it makes a difference. Two, zero, five. Look at that. Five. As many as five. Good number there. Good number. Witness, witness, sent beacon two, sent beacon one. But again, you guys, as you can see, every time that there's a beacon sent, there's one or two or more witnessing it. And that's what we want to do. Very rarely, very rarely I get a zero. Very rarely on a scent beacon. Okay, so uh, we want to do that. That's that's good. That means that our antenna is sending out the beacons nicely and it's communicating and it, it's being witness versus the other one. The other one is down here somewhere, right down here. This one is only communicating with these two. And again, it's because they're very close, very, very close. And I'm very impressed, to be honest with you. I, I never expected that. So uh, good job to Rack Wireless with their minted gold spot miners. And I, I would imagine the black miner is just as good. 
So very, very pleased with that. I can't wait to see the results when I put an outdoor antenna and uh, I got all of this to be witness from this location here. Got all of that, all of it. All is mine. Everything is mine. Absolutely. But um, yeah, you guys, uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys the difference between having a outdoor antenna with a nice cable and uh, all, of, all of that versus just having a minor inside the house, not doing much. Then you get sick and tired of it and you say, oh, this crap doesn't work. And then you turn it off, you let it go offline and that's the end of it. You never earned anything and you never did anything with it. And everybody around you, it's not benefiting from you owning a miner. If we can help you out in any way, let us know. Comment on the on the video, you guys. Join my Discord channel and uh, ask questions. We got tons of knowledgeable people there that uh, can answer your questions uh, about uh, antennas and uh, uh, whether your miner is uh, on relay mode or not, and and some tips and tricks, you guys. We we got people that uh, that are very knowledgeable, so. Please join the channel, the Discord channel. The link is on the description. Uh, the link to Rockland will be in the description as well, where I get my antenna, my cables, and a few other things. And uh, they're super awesome. Free shipping to anywhere in the United States. And uh, I have a coupon only for my viewers. So if you're interested in that, let me know, and I will hook you up with that link and the coupon so that you can use it together. And uh, yeah, I mean... That's about it, you guys. There you have it. That's that's a miner that is uh, set up with a very nice outdoor antenna, and it's only the beginning, and a miner that's just sitting inside the house. Not a good setup at all. So it's like night and day, you guys. It's night and day. Trust me. If you're really serious about your mining journey with helium, you need to get yourself an outdoor antenna. And again, it doesn't have to be a 100-foot tower, you guys. Not even 25 feet. If you put something outdoors, like on your on the side of your house there that just sits over your roof with, with one of those little mounts and your antenna is just a couple of feet above your roof line, 10 feet, you're, you're going to see a difference. Trust me. It, it just, it's just the way it is. Uh, helium miners, uh, the signal is very sensitive, and the, the the clearer the signal, the less interference, the less obstruction, the better. So get your signal out there, you guys, and uh, you'll see a difference on your earnings. I can I can guarantee you that. So uh, that's about it, you guys. Like I said, I just wanted to compare uh, those two items real quick, and uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it on the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're all we're up to almost 175 subscribers, so thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video and hit the notification bell. And uh, uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much, you guys. Cheers to everybody. Goodbye.